Oh, that's what it was. There's a claw shot point. It's not a ladder. It's not a ladder. Come on. I'm like right on the point. Let me let me claw. I want to claw. Yeah, so I think there's two treasures here. One is on that little center platform. The other one's on this other side, which... I think... Are, are wolves the only people allowed to walk in tight ropes? Yeah. Only wolves can walk in tight ropes for some reason. And then, okay, yeah, okay. I remember this one, this one's a little funny. Can, can wolves do, like, side climbing? I don't think so. Anyway. This is a very not big, or not, um, not often used mechanic in Twilight Princess, but where you cl hold onto a ledge and then you climb slowly to the left or right. In fact, I don't think they ever really make you use it, except for in this point, if you want to get this. Back to being a wolf. I imagine Wolf Link can't do that. Only Human Link would be able to. This feels like a stamp. Oh no, it's not a stamp, but I can't actually use it. Wow, that was disappointing. I really need to get rid of these rupees. Anyway, so that was treasure one. We're gonna get treasure two now, which I hope isn't also not rupees. Or a stamp, really. I don't want it to be either. We go down and... Activate spinner track. This one, you have to hit at the right timing. Which I did first try. Wow. That was... Kind of amazing. And we got surprise Zelda stamp. Oh, the joy. I remember that being one of the coolest secrets ever as well, because it's like fully displayed in front of you, but you, at the time when you first see it, you have no idea how to get to it. And when you finally figure it out, it's such a neat thing. And I'm honestly pretty upset that they reduced it down to a stamp. One thing before we leave, there was a, supposed to be a wolf link here, and apparently a Poe, I didn't know there's a Poe here, but... There's supposed to be a wolf link up here, so we can try to get that before we leave. So let's learn a new hidden skill, and then... And then maybe, if I don't get distracted by something else mundane, I'll do something else... That's all it really seems to be, isn't it? I'm like, oh, we're gonna go complete the dungeon. Nope, we're gonna spend money. Nope, we're gonna learn how to how to do some stupid spin attack, I bet. We meet again. At last, the skills I have to teach you have entered the realm of true secrecy. They are forgotten. They are forgotten ways that do not leave our bloodline. So don't tell anybody else or I'll kill you. Among the techniques I shall be teaching you are some that may even endanger you. Do you feel ready to learn these skills? I must test you to ensure you've mastered the Helm Splitter. <laughs> Got it. Excellent. It appears you are certainly capable of performing my lost art. Very well. My fifth hidden skill is... The mortal draw, let it be hewn into your mind. This one's like super easy to do. The ways of the sword are known to many creatures, and some have strengthened their guards against shield attacks and backslices. Should you encounter such a foe, the mortal draw that I'm about to teach you is most effective. You must sheathe your sword and cast aside the most basic of sword skills, the ZL target. You must wait until your foe is upon you. Then, before the enemy can see through your ruse, you must quickly draw your blade with A. There's no defense for this. The mortal draw deals death. 
Very well, now try it. I don't ever remember this being important in the slightest, except for just to have some stupid fun. You know, there's one shot enemies that get annoying. That was a pointed strike. Do not forget that this technique leaves your life at risk. The fifth hidden skill, the mortal draw has been passed on. I guess the idea is that your enemy's kind of unaware. Like they, you know, they see, oh, he's unarmed. I'll just beat the crap out of him. And then you kind of just whip out your sword and bam, they're dead. But even still, I don't know about that one. Oh, and I did get a, um, I did get a mail. Which I think I'm going to end up cutting out because none of it was super interesting. But I did get a mail talking about Barnes having a new bomb. Yeah, he's got these new bombs. So let's sell him. Uh, one of my bomb bags, we have about three. We'll sell him one of them, one of the emptier ones. And we'll buy uh, those new bombs. Because you have some bombs. Yeah. That's one thing I did realize, is that you guys really can't see my inventory at any point ever. That's probably one like drawback of the whole system, is that you have no idea what my inventory looks like. Um, I've got water bombs in one, regular bombs in another, and then full bag of bombs there. I'm going to get rid of the half-filled bag of regular bombs. Yeah, just take them. I don't want it. Okay, that's that's good. So let's go buy those fancy bombs, which I'm sure are going to be really expensive. Got my entire bomb repertoire back in order. Each one of those is six. Although, it's one of those is six, too. Okay. I don't really know if they actually do anything important, like, for any secrets or anything. But let's take a look, I guess. So... Can only carry a max of ten of these. Ah, uh, they just like run forward. Do they climb walls or anything? Or do they just run forward? No, they just run forward. If we didn't have bomb arrows, like in some of the previous Legend of Zelda games, I'd see them being useful, but they just seem worthless. Oh. So you remember that Goron with the um that was sitting down? Well, He's going to give us some hot spring water and we're going to throw it at him. So let's do it. Hot spring water cools as time passes. So if you do not hurry, you'll end up with plain old cold water, my brother. I don't know if this is a requirement to get them to buy the castle town or not. Okay. So we've got to take this over here without getting hit. If we get hit, we drop the spring water. Oh my god, for real? Leave me alone. Okay, I guess if we get hit, we don't drop the spring water like instantly or anything, but still. That's annoying. But it looks like we can place it down if necessary, I guess. I didn't know about that one. Thought you just had to like avoid avoid enemies that are chasing you like this. Which is somewhat successful. Be quick, grab the spring water and go. Run. Okay, okay, seriously, these enemies are worse. These enemies are the only problems at the moment. What are they even? Are they just like little cabbage patch guys? Like, what, are, what do they do? Oh, I hope, I hope I didn't take too long. Let's see. Welcome to the continuing adventures of never getting anything done. 
Say, is that some Kakariko hot spring water you have there, brother? If you poured it on me, I'm sure it would restore my strength. Oh boy, this is gonna get weird here. Have some, brother. <laughs> okay then. I feel rejuvenated. That smell, that heat. It is spring water from back home. Well, I'm going to get back to work and open up the shop. Is it necessary for them to, like, scream as they roll away? Oh, oh he's coming back? How do you do that? Oh. Wow, that was nice. I think he was bringing a thing of spring water for the other Goron on the south side of the town that needed it. Maybe. I'm gonna go check that out. I remember you, brother. Thanks to you, we are able to open up shop again. I will give you a special price on hot spring water. How is 20 rupees? Got it, brother. I provide you with some steaming hot water. So we got some hot spring water here, which doesn't really help us necessarily. Like, I don't need it. But this one guy did want some hot spring water, and I don't think we can get it to him fast enough otherwise. Unless, like, warping counts as no time at all, but I don't think that works. So let's take a look. I just went and talked to him, and he said he wants to drink some. He doesn't need to be doused in it. He just needs to drink some. I'm hoping this bottle is enough for his big body. You have the sweet smell of hot spring water. If I took a drink of that, I would feel so strong, I could probably get rid of these rocks. Well, if you want to give me that here, that hot spring water, give it. Yes! Go on, power, go! Well... I'm going to get working on this, so you should come back in a little while. The Gorons are very obsessed with this whole hot spring water thing. Okay, okay, so I figured it out. We're 200 rupees short of our financial objective. That's opening a shop in Castle Town. So that's all they need is just 200 rupees. You have a third one, I don't care. We have achieved our goal, brother. Today marks the day that another legendary establishment is born. You should travel to Hyrule Town later. I didn't need that extra 30 rupees. Anyway, or 300, or 100, I mean. Anyway, so now let's head over there, and I think we'll have something we can spend our money on. Oh, but man, uh, there's so many things. There really is so many things. I did want to travel up there. So let me do that really quick. Alright, let's see what this kid's got. I feel like there's an item associated with this. I just can't remember. Ah. Mr. 250! Check me out. I'm up here keeping watch for the whole town. Yeah, any more monsters try to attack, and I'm going to be ready. I'll shout my head off and warn everyone. Ah, oh, gee, but if I had a bow, then I could just sit up here and shoot all those nasty monsters. Oh, hey, I know. Mr. 250, you can show me how to use one. No, thanks. Just show me how you shoot a bow. Okay. Yes! Okay, Mallow's down there in front of the spring. So go down and find him, then show me, show me from there. You came. But, can you really use a bow? Never seen you so much as hold a bow back in Ordon. I got good real fast. Whatever. First off, shoot through that. That's what it is. So it's a, um... I remember there being something with this. This is so much harder to do on the Wii version, mind you. You have to, like, stabilize your arm and everything. Hmm. I guess that one was a bit on the easy side. Fine, how about that? It's a lot easier when you don't have to worry about... Your arm wiggling at the last second. Hey. Up here! Yeah, here's the hard one. Try to hit this pole. 
This is where they, like, really tax you. Come on. Wow. First shot. <laughs> you hit it, you hit it! Thanks, Mr. 250. Oh, I guess you have a little bit of skill when you concentrate. Looks like you've left some battles behind you. Impressive. Take this. Oh, really? I thought it was an item associated with this. Was it not an item? Hold on. Okay, so apparently I'm almost there. Apparently it's for sale. It's for sale in the shop. Once I've completed the task. At least I was looking at the original one. Yep, there it is. The Hawkeye. The sideware allows you to see distant objects as if with the eyes of a hawk. Handy scope excels at zooming in on distant... Oh, on distant objects. And you can combine it. Okay, that's a nice feature that they let you combine it on the item screen. So now let's take a look. So the Hawkeye. Combine that. And you get a lot more zoom. <laughs> so let me see, uh, we did do it from back here, but let me just see from the back of the spring, as far back as I can stand anyway, how much accuracy that kind of gives. And this is pretty much as far back as I can possibly stand. And still see up there. Oh, look at that. Let me see if I can actually hit it. It's not quite what I wanted. Okay, I think that would work. Oh, yeah, there is drop to these arrows. I knew there was drop to the arrows, I just couldn't remember, like... How far you had to get before you hit the drop. Still, that being said... I'm almost hitting it. There you go. Whoa, you hit it again! Wow, you're amazing, Mr. 250. How did I hear you from there? <laughs> I can barely see your face. Anyway, um, from what I understand, the Hawkeye is just kind of an optional item. Not terribly useful. I mean, it's kind of useful, but then again, I guess you could snipe out some field enemies from really far away. Or, of course, you could always take the alternative and stab them in the throat, you know? To each his own, I suppose. It's it's an optional item. All right, well, while we were traveling around, I did get another letter just recently. That is, that is not how you access the letters. That is... That is how you save. And as much as I like to save, I don't want to do that right now. We got one more letter from somebody. I think it was from Malamart. Heroes come together. Malamart, the hero of discounts, is finally open in Castletown. We've got all you need for that upcoming trip, and we offer it all at unbelievable prices. Grand opening special, magic armor, limit one. Act fast, heroes. I'm a hero. Let me in. You gonna make me clean my shoes? Welcome, welcome. The hero of discounts, Malamart, will be a legend in Castletown. Come on in, welcome. Take a look at our wares. That shoe shining kid's gone, unfortunately. Never gonna have clean shoes again. I will say this. How the heck did we buy them out for 200 rupees? I guess maybe their prices were so bad they never sold anything. Anyway, this is a great shop. It's got great music, there's Mallow statues and pictures everywhere. Only a little bit spooky. I'll take one, I'll take one. I don't really want one, but I'll take one by gosh. Buy one, get one. Sell it to me. I guess their shop's doing well with the hip and hopping music and the not expensive um, sales prices anymore, because it's discount store now. You buy it now if you're smart at Mallow Mart. 
Welcome, welcome, grand sale opening going on at Castletown Mallow Mart. 20% off, 30% off, of course, why not? We look out for you, the hero of discounts, that is us, Mallow Mart. Buy it now if you're smart, make your selection. How the heck does their business model work if they were able to be bought out by 200 rupees? It's a Mallow Mart stamp for 50 rupees. As much as I hate it, that is an option for getting rid of more rupees, so I might actually do that. So, yeah, now you can actually buy these in, like, at good prices. But anyway, for 598 rupees, magic armor. It's quite a bargain when you think of how valuable your life is. What's a few rupees to stay alive? Yep. Yep. I'll take it. We have sold out of magic armor. You bought it. You are smart. You bought it at Mallow Mart. Wear it and your rupees will become magical. The army will... The, the army. The armor will protect you. So if you get hit, you'll lose rupees, not health. If you run out of rupees, the armors will go dormant and your movement will become impaired. We might find that a little bit useful. Considering how much money you get and that I am playing in hero mode. So if I'm like inches from death, I may activate it. <laughs> and to get rid of the last of these rupees, we'll buy a stamp. Get the Malamart stamp. I'm kind of disgusted at myself for buying that, but at the same time, now my wallet's practically empty. So now that we've done all that, let us begin our adventure into the ancient wood. But in tradition of me, we're not actually going to go there first. We're going to go see Mr. Giovanni. Because we did hit the 20 pose quite a while ago. Alright. Oh, you can move. You did it! I can move again! This is all thanks to you, right? Oh, I have to thank you. Will this do? You got the Great Fairy's Tears. This bottle holds sacred water that contains the Great Fairy's Prayers. You could, for a while, boost attack strength. It's basically like the Chew Jellies. It's actually exactly identical, it's just different colored. Haha, <laughs> I can hear you can get the stuff in the cave on the eastern edge of Gerudo Desert, too. Don't worry, we will. I'm just waiting till we get a few more items. But my body's still golden. Does this mean my soul is still not whole? That's strange. Maybe we need the souls of 60 ghosts. Exactly 60. 59 will not cut it. Can I ask another favor of you, doggy? Can you defeat more ghosts? Just 27 ghosts more. Must be tough finding those creepy crawlies, right? Take this lantern with you. What's this? I don't remember this. Steer's lantern will light up when there are ghosts nearby. Doesn't need any oil. That must be a new, like, Twilight Princess HD thing. Because I don't remember that item. Let me, um... Let me look that up really quick, actually. I'm a little bit curious, because I don't want to sound ignorant, but I don't think that was in the, like, previous... So I was correct, that is Twilight Princess HD only, I don't remember that. And apparently, I guess, it lights up when we're near Pose or something, and it... I don't really know to tell you the truth, but I'm not gonna bother with it much, honestly. Maybe towards the end if I want to get all the Pose for some reason, but... I'm probably not gonna bother with it. Anyway, but we did, uh, notably, we did get an extra bottle out of that, and, um, we got something nice in the bottle. So, we've got more healing options, if I so need them. So, <laughs> what we ended up doing about an hour ago for me now, is, uh, we put the sword into, like, the sword stand, and I guess for some reason that made the statue disappear? Not quite sure how, but it did. Oh, this is cool though, I like this.
So we have in fact traveled back in time. Back to when this was not just a open topped area, but an actual temple. With a roof and everything. And apparently there's a bug in the past. We got a snail. So that makes a pair. I did end up, um... So I was worried I wasn't going to have enough for the armor, which I was correct, actually. I did go and give Agatha one of the bugs that I had. I think it was an ant, maybe. I'm not sure. There's more of these statues here, which we can't do anything with, but we will come back later and clear them. I'm sure one of them is a stamp and the other one has, you know, rupees or a heart or something. Thankfully, we don't actually have to do that puzzle again. Oh, this is the lantern. So, from what I learned, yeah, Link can't clip it to his belt, so he can't have it out while fighting or anything. But it is... It is useful for finding Poe's, though apparently if you're in a dungeon, it will keep lit until all the Poe's are out of the dungeon, or something. It's a little confusing, to tell you the truth. Um, I'm not even sure what I want on my inventory right now. Let's put a bomb in. Alright. Man, it's Oko again. She's got to get to the dungeon before we can so that she can be annoying. Go find a pot to get herself stuck in. I don't know how I dealt with Oko before. I really don't. Oko's absolutely flabbergastingly annoying. Temple of Time this is actually a pretty neat temple, especially when you get the item that they want you to use. It's an item I could easily see them being being a very gimmicky item because it is somewhat. <laughs> but they do manage to actually make it kind of neat, which I'm glad. I think outside of this dungeon, it does turn into a slightly gimmicky item, but. It's okay, but they do manage to keep it from being a gimmicky item in this dungeon. Like, it's actually a truly useful item, and I like it. Of course, the entire dungeon is designed around it. Mr. 250, don't you think there's something odd about that statue? In the grove and in the temple entry, there were always matching ones on each side. But there's only one here. Why don't you use your senses to take a look around? <laughs> Ah, yes, the senses. The thing that they always use to help help give you hints without directly telling you anything. So you don't feel bad about all these little rupees now. We will in just a minute. I'm going to imagine that they want us to go up those stairs, though. Since I'm activating a platform... Oh well, but we might as well, we might as well do it. We'll get a better picture of what we're looking at. I'm pretty sure that's where we're supposed to be going, but we're obviously not going to as of yet. Well, there used to be one here. I knew it. There was one more here originally. We need to find the other statue in this temple that matches that one. Never quite understood that about the senses. It's a cool, it's a cool gameplay mechanic, don't get me wrong. You know, you can see things that used to be there. But how? You know, senses are explained away as, okay, that's what a wolf can do. You know, wolves can smell things and track things. Okay, wolves can sense when there's something buried under the ground. And sure, we'll give them that. Wolves can tell when there used to be things there that were there, like, hundreds of years ago or something. What? <laughs> I don't know about that last one. I wonder. Can we actually light things with this lantern? No, we just hold it. Wanted to be sure. You're real cheap. 
Let's start lighting things with our Poe Lantern. Alright, what do we get? Small key. It's kind of feeling like that was going to be a stamp. Like it was one of those really easy ones that they give you stamps for. Alright. Sneak around you. Nope. Not so fast. Dang it. At last, this is it. This is where I've been trying to get to. The ancient technology of our people sleeps in this place. We've searched all over, and now we're so close I can smell it. Once we find that thing, we can go home at last. Oh, gracious, yes. Uh, young man, we're so close, so please help us find what we're looking for. Oh, no. I've been given a quest, which means I have to do it. No! 